Oh, hello, and welcome back to... I, might, I may have made a mistake. I literally just got home from work, and the entire day all I could think about was how I, I made this huge step cutting my hair. It's been this short for the first time since I was a baby and I feel so much better and more confident and outgoing and I decided, well, why don't I try to do something that I had wanted to do when I was a kid but never got around to doing it because I didn't have the courage or money or the know-how. Is it learning a different language? Is it going out on an adventure? That would be too normal. I wanted to cosplay a couple of years back and I bought a bunch of makeup and a wig and I was getting there but I was alone and also I didn't know what the hell I was doing in general. I, I still don't know what I'm doing. So today, we, we might have made a mistake. I haven't worn makeup in over a year. I don't do, I use, all I used to do was my eyes. I, I am not a makeup expert. I'm not a cosplay expert. This is actually the first time I'm trying most of this stuff out. There's like this one piece that always wants to stick up. I, so as I'm opening, literally I'm opening all of this, um, I will explain to you who I am trying to be. Is there a mirror in here? <gasps> no, it's a pad. Jeffree Star hates pads and a mirror. Ah, what a find. For those who are watching this and know me in real life, I'm sorry. This is probably a very strange video for you. So this guy is from an anime called Attack on Titan and his name is Levi Ackerman. Hey! Oh, we're embarrassed. Why do I want to be him? Pretty sexy. He's got a lot of confidence. I don't have that. And so we might just have a problem from the very beginning, ladies and gentlemen. Levi is confidence. That's, that's, that's not me. Okay, it's a forever reason. Okay. No one has time for that. I don't know shit about makeup. I bought one foundation today. So will it match? I don't. So this is, this is like two videos. This is a um, person who is completely oblivious to the world of makeup, tries makeup for the first time in like two years. And also a person who is inept at, you know, cosplaying and has never been able to manage to do it properly. I mean, I can throw up some pictures of me trying in the past, but... I mean, they're not, they weren't bad. They're not real good either. That's, that's, that, uh, I mean, that's me. Great. It smells like my acne cream. Just starting out. This is just great. I know it's lighter fluid, but you know, it tastes so good. All right, we are primed. What the fuck is that? It says mix one, two, or three drops with moisturizer or primer. Why? She's dripping. Look, this is before and this is after. Oh, sh shit, shit. She is exploding. This is, okay, hold on. So primer, okay. We got a little dab of doobin. Oh, she's a mess. Look what I've done. One, two, three. Oh! Wow! My freckles are gone. I'm a girl, I promise. Oh! 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 So here's the thing about cosplayers, they all have like this translucent, just beautiful creamy skin and they have like one mole and they cover it up and they're like, okay, moving on to our next step here. And I'm like, no, wait, hold on. What about the, those of us that, you know, like the sun 
had his babies all over their skin, huh? Like, I never see beauty gurus put foundation on their eyelids, but fuck you, I have freckles up there. It needs to be done, okay? This is freaking me out a little bit because I can barely see them anymore. Do you apply concealer if your character has dark circles under their eyes? And that was the whole point. What I'm thinking is yes, because how dare you be natural. Shake what your mama gave you. Just like a whole triangle down. Oh my God. We've made a choice here. We're just trying to get the best type of base possible to let my artistic side kick in. Okay, this is corrected all of my colors and now I am slightly shook. Great, instead of, I already ripped it. I've already ripped the sponge. On what? My face? And we're just gonna apply this to all of our face. So we are matte, not oily and shiny. This was a mistake but we're running with it. Did I buy a powder brush or did I put that back? Cause I got the, I got a powder brush. So you know what? I think we, this bitch may need a little bit more powder cause I bought this and you know damn well we're using, oh, the fallout, look at this. <laughs> That's my money flying in the air and now it's in front of the camera. Okay. like me. I guess that's the point. I guess first I need to pull up a picture of oh, powder all over my phone. We are going to pull up a picture of Levi Ackerman. I, I'm still at that, you know, crossroads of, did we make a mistake? Yeah, I'm just going to say yes. Oh, I have... I have gotten foundation on my brushes. Cause why not? I'm gonna take this light brown, this transition. Oh, that, that's a lot. And I'm gonna do the Jeffree Star thing. And this is just gonna be a base color for the rest of our shit. Look at this, look at this, I'm tapping it. And look at all that fallout. Oh! Oh, that got in my eye! There is powder in my eye. Okay, his eyes are square. And I can't make my eyes square. We're not going for that type of look. We're going for, hey, if Levi were an actual human being and not a drawing, Hopefully this is maybe kind of sort of what he looked like. We're going to kind of try to make our nose a little bit smaller. I have this bump right here that I don't appreciate, but apparently it's good for cosplay. Not every cosplay I've ever seen has a straight nose. So we're going to try to eliminate this nose by drawing lines where God did not put them. See, I didn't get my mom's nose. For some reason, I got my dad's nose. Which is fine. Is this the order that the beauty gurus go in? No. Is this the order I'm gonna go in? I'm going to use this darker transition brown and we're going to contour the inside creases a little more and start creating that hollowed look that he has and also the second eyelid type of thing. I don't know what I'm doing, but we're here anyway. You know this man's nose is tiny as shit. I know he's 5'2", but that's no excuse to not give the man a nose, okay? There's a lot of things that people need their noses for. Oh, what have I done? I'm gonna take some black now and 
really be careful with this. Ooh, we went ham. Yeah, we went a little in for this one. Oh boy. I'm gonna take my finger and try to blend it out without just taking off all of the work that I've done. Just have it. Okay, we fixed it. And we've also removed everything that we've just done. Okay, so we are going to try to highlight our nose a little bit. So I'm taking this lightest thing with a tiny brush. <sighs> and we're gonna go down the center of the nose. Has it done anything? And then I'm going to take this lightest shade up here. We're not cleaning the brush. We are just, we're living on the edge. And I'm going to start trying to contour my cheek. I am trying to be a man after all. Maybe lay back a little bit. And then to get the, the jawline really defined. Look how splotchy it is. I have a brush from a long time ago that I used to use. You know, it occurred to me it might not be in here. powder brush that I didn't need to buy and this thing which I used to contour my face with it's got fuzzies on it and it's old like my soul and we're just gonna try to fix the error of my ways everything is falling apart my life is falling apart hmm <laughs> panicking we are panicking pencil. I'm going to go into the black. Um, he has pencil thin eyebrows, which is my kink. Don't kink shame me, bitch. <laughs> this looks strange though. <laughs> I'm gonna frown and then accentuate. <laughs> it's my toilet. Sometimes it likes to be in my videos. <laughs> oh, now ladies and gentlemen, she done fucked up. These creases. <gasps> oh lord, she's licking, Graham! Try to give it that. I'm itching! I don't think it's the makeup. I think it's just my sensitive ass skin that's like, anyway, you have been messed with me for like a year. Am I a professional, you ask? I'm a professional idiot. Dude, it looks like. It looks like when I go in, it's like I have it in my skull and I'm just like Wah, double eyelids oh shit yeah what have I done you're asking I put a, fr a permanent frown on my face 
if someone were to come to the door, like knock on it and say, would you like to learn more about the love and joy of Jesus Christ? And I would be like, does it look like I want to learn more about the love and joy of Jesus? Oh, right. I need to do my temples. We're going to make a choice here. We're going to say, this is where my temple is. And you just have to deal with it. I'm going to sneeze. <laughs> Never mind, I'm not. I've made a mistake. I've been saying it since the beginning of this video. <laughs> did you listen? No. Did I just try to use the wrong side of the brush and then I dipped it into it anyway? Yes. Oh no. So we look like we've literally put dirt on our face. My eyes look really green though. It's a first time thing. We're gonna come back and laugh at ourselves in a few years. I'm not gonna be doing this in a few years. I'm an adult. Right. blinking a lot. So essentially, I've just basically shown you that the, in order to be Levi, all you gotta do is just put a shit ton of black on your face and then apparently you'll be okay. No. That's incorrect. Okay. <laughs> Did I buy a broken eye pencil? I bought a broken eye pencil. Oh, just kidding. It was hiding. Oh, it's gonna make me cry. I know it will. This part especially. It's important. Okay. Yep. She watering up though. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yep. So I'm gonna extend it down make a fine point with it. Uh. <laughs> okay. Just put a wing on in a Levi look. Okay. Now the corner that never matches because my eyes are different shapes. Okay. Look how red my eyes are. They're like, they've got powder in it, they've got things around it. They didn't ask for this. I'm a splotchy fucking mess, but what we're gonna do here is keep keep rolling. Say this was the decision you decided to make for yourself today, and we're gonna put the we're gonna put the fucking wig on because I think it's time. Well, that was easy. Yeah. So there's little, these little thingies in the back that you're supposed to hook. And even though I've been wearing a bra my whole life, this is, this is difficult. Oh, oh, she's got it. Honey, she's got it. Oh, see, this is, I have fucked up my wig. This is my fault. It's my fault. It's funny because my wig hair is longer than my actual hair, so I'm like, ugh, I feel it on the back of my neck. Look. And I don't have that anymore, so let's see if I can try to save my wig here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna try not to fuck up this wig too much. Take some of this styling gel that I use on my real hair and try to ask it to calm. Oh, 
oh, oh, everything is gonna be just fine. Yeah, I have, I have majorly fucked up my wig here, but essentially, This, this is, this is a new problem. Hold on. Two seconds. Nice. If we're going for, uh, if Levi were a cartoon, this is what he would look like. We're not going with the whole what did I, what did I say before? If he looked like a real person, this is what he would look like? No. 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 This looks like such a sarcastic smile. I guess this is it. What does it look like when I put my hood up? Better, I think. Hmm. Hood down. No. It was an adventure. I think I fucked up my wig though. And uh, I think it's a learning experience. Why are my eyes so green? So this was, this was this, I guess. And I guess if I take any good pictures, this is where they'll go. Cause I, I don't really have anything funny to say. But thanks for watching, I guess. How, how long has this been going on? An hour and 16, 17 minutes.